everybody? This is Phil and Brandon from Zane Comics, uh, the creators of Magic Comp and The Lost Pages, which is shipping right now, and the two best looking brothers in all of comics. We're back for another uh, much anticipated Zane Comics update. I know we've uh, been you know, scattered with putting these out since we are in fulfillment now, but that's the great news. We're getting the books out to people. Uh, we spent this week signing and packaging up and shipping a bunch of books out. So uh, if you guys ordered Magic Hop, you could, uh, you know, be uh, waiting for it. It's, it's on its way, right? You mean the Lost Pages? Oh, yeah. Not the Magic Hop. The <laughs> Lost Pages. Well, that's also a, a big news. We're also working on Magic Hop too, so that's why I'm getting those mixed up. But yeah, the Lost Pages is on its way. I was just in a stream yesterday and um, shout out to Badger Comics because he was on the How to Draw Comics channel on YouTube and he said he actually got his book, he read it, he loved it and I uh, can't wait to see those people posting pictures of their books on the internet, tagging us in there. If you guys do get your copy, please do so. Post it up there, let us know what you think and uh, take some shots of the, the package that you got because a lot of people maybe have looked past this but even if you just got a regular book, you're getting a lot of stuff in the package with the book, right? Uh, so every time we're packaging up a book, we have um, the, the silhouette blockhead is going in there. We have the masquerade paper mask that you guys could cut out and scare your friends with. Yeah, that'll be a favorite for everybody. Yeah, cut on the dotted line, people. Um, we have the trading cards. So depending on when you backed and if you were signed up for our mailing list, you may be getting anywhere from eight to 10 trading cards from great artists. Um, and they also have uh, bios that I wrote on the back, so definitely read those. Um, I'll be sad if you don't. And then uh, Bookmark, right? Which was drawn by Brandon. And uh, the postcard, which was also drawn by Brandon. So um, some of the people have already gotten the postcards. If you were part of the first 100 backers, we sent those postcards out um, like a month early, so people got those. Uh, but now you should be getting them in your in, in your box as well. Yeah. It really pays to be uh, part of that first 100 backers group with Dave Comics because usually, like with Magic Cop and the Lost Pages, uh, you get your postcard early, uh, shipped through the mail, so it's a little bit more of kind of a rarity. And then uh, with this campaign, you get that silhouette trading card. Right. It's a special edition. Yeah, we had so many backers within the first 24 hours. Um, I think we had gotten already over 100. Yeah. So that first week trading card, which was the silhouette card by Andrew Huerta, uh, we have a lot of those going out. Um, and yeah, so you know, getting in there early is really a benefit. Uh, especially, you know, I, I think doing the trading card, people have really caught on to that. I heard on some other um, shows like uh, Rob Arnold was talking about what fans really like about um, you know customer service from certain creators, and I remember some fans going on there and saying specifically about us with Magic Hop and the Lost Pages that the postcard um, coming early as in like a little anticipation for the book shipping was really standing out to them. So it was really cool to hear the feedback from the fans like that. That's what, you know, a lot of people are doing these fan shows where the fans come on and tell you what they're liking about uh, the, the comics and the, the creators and how uh, passionate we are about getting these books to people. I love seeing that. It's, it's a really cool thing. So definitely uh, look out for those on like How to Draw a Comics channel or Leroy. Leroy's channel, L-E-R-O-I. If you look up his channel, he does um, Saturday nights fan fan uh, uh, streams where no creators are allowed. It's pretty cool. Um, what else is going on? We have Magic Cop. We got some colored pages in, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna be showing that off real soon, right? I yeah. Uh, probably after fulfillment, right? We're going to just the Magic Cop promotion campaign. Oh, for sure, yeah. Hopefully we could get um, some stuff done before then. I'm we're working on the trailer, some little cool animatics for the for the trailer for Magic Cop 2. So we have three pages colored now, 24 pages uh, penciled and inked. Uh, so we're far along in there and getting 
you know, colors in as much as possible so we can throw those into the trailer. That's going to be a lot of fun because, you know, the, the transition from Lost Pages to Magic Cup is, uh, it's so cool and, and refreshing. It's good to switch things up. The books are uh, very different from each other and I you can't wait to, to show that stuff off. Um, yeah, what else are we going to talk about with Magic Knob? Um, oh, look at this. I don't know, it's just going to be awesome. Uh, the, the trailer should be rolling out soon and we'll put out a uh, launch, pre-launch page so you guys can get on the mailing list and get some exclusive stuff with that as well. And uh, I've been lettering Doom Fate also for Passion for Drawing. So we're almost done with the letters on that. I think uh, next week he's gonna send me the last So as well as Magic Cop stuff, uh, I have been working on Doom Fate, doing the letters for the book. Our buddy, Passion for Drawing. Um, his book is awesome and it's still in demand on Indiegogo as well. Uh, so next week he should be sending you the last few pages of the book. So that'll be complete and ready to ship um, in the next uh, month and a half or so. And I know he's been busy drawing, coloring that thing, so definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, it's everything's going great. Still hopping on streams. Um, if you guys haven't checked out uh, some of our videos on here, definitely do so. Uh, one that comes to mind is the recent Crimstone video that I did highlighting the character. There's a playlist on the channel. You could, it's called Characters, I believe. And there are little overviews of the characters from our comics. Um, and definitely check out that Crimstone one. We go in depth on that character. If you guys love 90s ultra-violent characters with a twist on it, then you're gonna love Crimstone. Uh, and the art on that book, or that story is so cool. You guys can get all those stories in the Laws pages. The link is down below in the description. Uh, so definitely, definitely grab that uh, because there's gonna be a lot more to come with these characters. Anything else, Brandon, that you want to uh, do a little update for this week? Uh, I'm going to be doing more drawing videos on Thursdays, uh, so uh, you guys can go check those out and just look forward to Magic Cop. Magic Cop 2 is well underway and uh, you know if you guys enjoyed the first one, make sure you guys come back for the second one because it's going to be just as awesome if not even more. Yeah, lots of action, lots of new cool characters that I'm really excited about um, and it, it's just going to be taking the 80s to the to the next level with this one. It's going to be so fun. Uh, we do these uh, streams every Wednesday where we interview other creators and go back, watch those streams. They're around, you know, 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. We just had uh, John Hervey on for Manga, the, or not Manga, Magna, The Last Pantheon, which is an awesome mythology book with a, you know, a, a rock and badass babe protagonist. Last week we talked to John Dillard uh, from Dillard Draws about The Buckler, which is another cool uh, comic book. This time it's about a supervillain, follows the, the life of this uh, badass supervillain. So definitely check those books out and the streams. Uh, we'd love when you guys uh, comment below, so please do so, so we can hear what you guys are thinking. Um, and hit that like button, ring the bell for notifications. We will see you guys uh, next time on a stream or another video. So definitely stay tuned and we will see you then.